Welcome back to our channel and I'm Richard from PageFly. Are you struggling to get the spacing just right on your PageFly pages? Today, I will show you how to use margin and padding to set spacing on PageFly page. Firstly, we need to understand margin and padding. Margin is the spacing surrounding an element. Padding is the spacing within an element. It's the content of the box. And border is the line that goes around the padding and content. It's time to configure margin. Let's go ahead to the PageFly page editor. As you can see, it's the margin of the heading. It sets the spacing between the heading and the paragraph. So to create the spacing between two elements in a vertical line, let's adjust the margin bottom of the element above. If you want to set spacing for two elements in a horizontal line, let's adjust the margin right for the element on the left. You also can drag the orange dot to edit the margin like this. Next, I will guide you on how to use the padding. Here you can see the padding of this section. It will set the space inside the border. You will use the padding when you want to increase inner spacing between elements on the border of the container of the elements. For example, to make the space between the border of this column with the content inside it. Let's add padding pixel here. You should adjust the padding of the column instead of changing the padding of the element inside. When you add another element inside this column, it will automatically have a space with a border and you don't have to adjust the padding of the new element anymore. You also can drag these green dots to adjust the padding to increase the height of this row. Please note that when you switch to other devices such as mobile your page will not be responsive at all. So you need to edit margin and padding in mobile. You can see the section doesn't show fully. It's because on mobile, the padding inherits the settings from other devices. If you adjust the paddings of the section, it will look better. I will show another example when you add a new button on the page and set the margin left for it like 400 pixel. Go ahead and switch to mobile view. The button disappears. But if you remove the margin you set on all devices, the button will appear. Remember that all the changes you made in the styling tab, like margin and padding on the styling tab on mobile, will not affect other devices. This is the end of the video tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe us on YouTube channel to get more new videos. Thanks for watching.